Hey ladies and gents, this is Linda Faychick777 and today I'm coming at you with a start to finish a video on a project, a design team project for saw crafters. I'm going to move my sign out of the way and I'm going to show you what I am starting with at first, okay? Um, and then, of course, I will come back at the end. This is going to be a fast forward video. I will come back at the end and get a little up close and personal with you with the completed project. Okay, so what I am starting with is this that I have purchased from our local Walmart. It's a wood clock, um, and it had this little um, metal bird on top, but um, I'm taking that off, obviously. And I actually liked the color at first. It was kind of this brown-black color with these accents of gold, which I may use some rub and buff and do some accents on the letters and stuff just to kind of bring that part back in. But I just always feel like when I go to alter something, I need to change it all somehow, not just take something pre-bought and glue some flowers on it, although that's perfectly wonderful, wonderful, but my preference is I just really like to do something, either completely paint it, cover it with paper, or something. Anyway, so that's what I started with, okay? I'm, I've had this in my stash for like a year, and just kind of waiting for inspiration to hit, and it finally has, and really, are you all surprised that it's a clock? Come on now. <laughs> Anyway, what I want to do is I want to use the Tim Holtz Distress Crackle Paint in Black Soot. Um, and I did a test swatch on the back, but I didn't see that there was any type of varnish or anything on this project, but um, the crackling wouldn't work. So apparently there was something that was uh, inhibiting it from working. So the only thing I've done so far, I just kind of wanted to show you, is I um, used black gesso to kind of... Um, get it started and um, we'll start in with the video as I go in. I may spray it first like with some Lindy's um, so that when I crackle over it you'll see some of that color through it like just a real pretty like brown or a copper color. Um, I'm not sure I'll do another test swap before um, I actually get started filming this process but anyway just wanted to show you what I started with what I um, kind of prepped the project with the black gesso and then now we're going in to do the distress crackle paint and I'll see you back again at the end I hope you enjoy this process thanks
Thank you.
Okay, so I hope you like that um, edition of Fast Forward on my project. I just cut a little bit of things out here and there that wasn't very important, like gluing of some of the flowers. You guys know how to glue flowers down. Um, I know we're at the end of the video and you're seeing my name sign out, but it's just so there's something pretty to look at while I, you know, gab a little bit with you. So this project um, I made for a friend and hope she likes it and um, that's about all the gabbing I'm going to do so I'm going to move this sign out of the way um, so we can get to showing you this project up close and personal the finished result okay so here we go and I'm going to bring my camera down and then I'll move it back up so we can look at it better. So here it is. I know, right? I super, super think this turned out totally adorable. From a clock I purchased at, you know, Walmart to this. And, of course, all of Saw's wood products made it spectacular. I truly love this. Um... It's going to be hard to see this one go. And the only way this one would, to be honest with you, that this one would stay in my collection is if I came up with a different project for my friend. Because, you know, I've got a few months yet um, to deliver it to her. So, you know, if I came up with something that I just loved even better, that's the only way I'd be keeping this one. Or, in turn, maybe even thinking, wait, this kind of project really suits this person <laughs> so you know it might even get passed on to a different person you know how it goes and since like I said I have a few months more to create um who knows what will happen to this one but I love it um, and I was really actually going to return the clock I had it in my stash for over a year I think and I just nothing was coming about and I was actually going to return it and then all of a sudden I was like oh and all this came about so um let's move my camera up and bring this in close and personal for you and bring this down give a little light here okay so let's bring it up so you can look at it nice and sorry about the glare of course on the glass of the clock there's the side with all the flowers i really love to 3d my flowers up Okay. And like I talked before I started, I took in, and we'll look at that, I'm doing it this way. I'm going to um, do this so the glare doesn't get you as we turn and look inside a little bit there. Okay. I'll show you the crackling. You can see some of it already. But see how that crackling turned out? Um, I liked it, but it was a little bit too, like, flat black, so um, I wanted it to have just a little bit of a shine, but not really be glossy, so I took my Mod Podge in matte and went over it, and that gave it just that little bit of a gloss that I was looking for. Really happy about that. And then the back, which isn't obviously pretty. You'll notice like this, I'll tell you what I did there. I took some, I didn't want, I took some acrylic, um, clear acrylic, to be able to have something to glue my flowers to, because, you know, I got real, you know, in depth there, and it came really far out from, um, you know, the project itself. So I took, some, and I cut it to the pieces I wanted, and then I painted them with black gesso, and then I went over it with that Tim Holtz black um, crackle paint so that it would kind of match the back of the project. I mean, it's not pretty, these big blobs hanging out, but that way if it ever got turned around, at least you're not seeing just clear and the clear glue globs of, you know, from the backs of the flowers. So, you know, that kind of hit it and I think it turned out well. And you can see here what I did with one of um, Saw's wooden clock pieces, the big one. So, um, you know, glued it to the back here so that you could see it on the front and it adds just a nice little, you know, shadow effect back here. Really like how that turned out. Okay, so, like I said, glued all my flowers to it, then I added some acrylic little gems hanging out here, and then all my wood pieces from Saw, this is the cute little, I'm trying to cover it up, I feel like there's a shadow there, now you can kind of see the um, little ornate design on this cute little birdcage. I have my little X and O in here, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down a little bit, actually, so I'm kind of in the light. One moment, please, you guys. 
I feel like I'm way up above the light. There we go. Um, and my little XO in there. These wings are from Saw. They're wooden. And then what I did is I took um, some of the Prima something blue paper. It's like a pink polka dot. And traced it on, you know, traced the shape of the wings and sewed them and everything and put it on the wings to cover them up. So it gives cute little pink wings. So those are the little mini wings from Saw's shop. And then that is one of the little, like, stopwatch clocks. And then one of her wooden clock hands. This sentiment, also from Saw's Shop, as well as this sentiment. And I wanted to, you know, remember timeless moments. It has to do with the clock. Thought it was fitting. A little wooden key here. Bunch more of Wild Orchid Craft Prima flowers. Um, also, these were gifted to me from a friend. So I have a couple of these um, little pink acrylic flowers on there. Coming across. Um, oh, and also what I did is you can see it, and I think I showed it at the beginning too, some of this used rub and buff. It was a real pretty, like an antique gold. I don't remember the color I showed you at the beginning um, or somewhere in the um, video, but I rub and buffed all kind of like the edges to kind of give it that vintage look. Even put it a little bit, there you can see it there, a little bit along the edges of my wood pieces, just to kind of make it more vintage looking. And a bunch more Wild Orchid Craft Prima flowers going on in here. Another one of those little acrylic gems. Stuffed a bunch of flowers in there around the cute little hearts. And then this word is from Saw Shop. Beautiful. Added cute little gem. The word dream. Again, another cute little gem. Some more flowers going around. Here's like a little spray of gems. Another one of those flowers so it all ties in together. And then at the very top, one of the cute little mini wooden butterflies from Saw's Shop. So everything, I mean, all the wood pieces are all from Saw's Shop. Just truly amazing. Made this this beautiful, vintage, romantic piece. I love it. You're going around, you can see how thick all the flowers are. And um, I'll glue flowers up on top of flowers even. Because um, there's flowers underneath these flowers. Just to really give it that bulky, um, you know, 3D effect. But I love kind of the the pink and brown uh, look I took on this to kind of match the wood. I don't usually do much with Saw's wood pieces. I'll leave them in their natural state except for spraying them with like a clear, um, you know, um, like Lindy Stamp Gang type just to get just a real pretty clear beautiful and then I'll ink the edges to make them pop out a little more so usually when I work with Saw's pieces you'll see a lot of browns and stuff in my project to bring out the brown tones of the wood didn't change anything on the clock or add anything inside I didn't want to do that I love the color that it was but anyway so there's how this piece turned out I really hope you guys enjoyed the process of this I really love how this came out, and uh, we'll see who the heck ends up with it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your time with me for this process. Hope to do it again soon. I'll talk with you later. Bye.